Wow, so Elliot Friedman must be asleep or something at this point because I'm recording this audio at 11.20 a.m. in the morning. Normally, waiver wire updates are released at 11 a.m., so it took 20 minutes for the scoop to be posted online as to whether or not the Red Wings' Adam Ernie had cleared or not. I'm not gonna lie, this entire time I was sitting there just refreshing Twitter saying, okay, where's Ernie gonna go? Who's gonna claim this guy? There's no way that a cheap, expiring 27-year-old forward who has experience, he's got a big body, he's got a solid frame, and he's not bad, there's no way this guy clears, right? But Steve Iserman does it again. Three for three, bar for bar, first it was Vrana, then it was Nedeljkovic, and now it's Adam Ernie. This is not Magnus Helberg here, guys. He's not getting claimed. The Red Wings have themselves yet another Grand Rapids Griffin forward. Now, I, for one, am honestly quite surprised. Like, when it comes to everything that Ernie is, sure, he's not a superstar-level hockey player, but he's good enough to say that he probably belongs in the NHL, and if there's a team that's looking for some depth, a guy that can just be a pretty okay bottom six caliber option, I was kind of thinking, okay, if there's a playoff team that wants Adam Erty, I wouldn't be surprised. I was kind of thinking if Vancouver wanted a guy like Ernie to help supplement bodies on their rebuild, then that wouldn't be too surprising either, but nah, all these teams go out there and say, no, nah, we'd rather use our roster space on somebody else, which I guess is fair, but at the end of the day, Ernie is a good enough body that is not playing in the NHL anymore, making $2.1 million a year till the end of this season. This is the profile 14 points in 43 games played. He has the same amount of goals this season that he had last season in 79 games, so... There you go. I guess there's some increase in production for this guy. He hasn't played in the AHL literally since 2017-18 with the Syracuse Crunch in Tampa Bay, but the past few years he has been a full-time Red Wing. However, now he is sent down to the Griffins. This is an article on Detroit Hockey Now from yesterday talking about how he was placed on waivers in the first place, and it talks about why this entire transaction was made. With Ernie in the AHL, the Red Wings can recall Jonathan Berggren, who was temporarily moved off the Detroit roster to activate Philip Zadina. He needed to be activated to go to Grand Rapids for a two-game conditioning stint, and the Berggren demotion was a paper transaction. Berggren didn't actually join the Griffins. With Ernie in Grand Rapids, both Berggren and Zadina can be in Detroit Monday to practice for the Wings' next game on Tuesday. The Wings haven't played since losing 2-0 to the Islanders on January 27. With Sedina returning to the lineup, the Red Wings are finally healthy. The Griffins have been the beneficiary of Detroit's improved medical outlook. Since the Red Wings started sending players such as Vron and Zelkovich, Soderblom, etc. to Grand Rapids, the Griffins have played better hockey. And so I guess they're getting one more, right? This is the scoop right here, folks. The Red Wings have indeed sent down Adam Ernie, and he's cleared. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about this entire transaction. Stevie Y pulls it off again. I, for one, am quite surprised. He's gotten away with it three out of three times, but I guess the cap space really is the big indictment on this, so I don't know. I mean, $2.1 million isn't super expensive, but at the end of the day, I guess teams are valuing their cap space. So much so that they're not willing to take a guy that is one of the top players in the Red Wings and hits. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about Ernie heading over to Grand Rapids. I hope you enjoyed this video. Charles 99. And bye.